Let's take a look at what happens when we put NaCl, sodium chloride, in water. Is this going to be an endothermic or an exothermic process? So this is our NaCl. We have a crystal of Na and Cl ions, and they're ionically bonded. So within this here, we have a positive and a negative. So we do have an ionic compound. When we put sodium chloride in water, it's very soluble, and it dissociates into Na+. These are the sodium ions and the chloride ions. So there's two things going on here that we need to look at to determine whether this is going to be endothermic, the water gets colder, or exothermic, the water gets warmer. So first, we're breaking apart this ionic bond here. And these are dissociating and separating into their ions. So when we break these bonds, that takes energy. So because it takes in energy to break bonds, we say this is endothermic. And if it's endothermic, the water would get colder. And we talk about this energy of breaking bonds as lattice energy. The other thing is called hydration energy. And that's when the water molecules surround each of these ions. Water is a polar molecule. It has negative sides and positive sides due to the difference in electronegativity between the oxygen and the hydrogen. So for sodium, it would be surrounded by water molecules like this. So these would line up around the sodium so that negative side is near the positive. For the chloride ion here, it would be the other way around. They'd line up around this chloride ion so the positive here on the hydrogens is near the negative chloride ion. And they would surround it. That's called hydration. That is exothermic. That gives off heat. So it really comes down to do we give off more heat than we take in or do we take in more heat than we give off? For sodium chloride, it turns out that it takes in more energy than it gives out. So overall, overall, NaCl, sodium chloride dissolving in water, is endothermic. Not a lot. Water just gets slightly colder, but it is an endothermic process. So we compare our lattice energy, where we break this down here, break those bonds in the ionic compound, and then we compare the hydration energy, the energy that's given off when the water molecules surround these ions here. That's it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.